all right, geezer. Yeah, it's nice in here, isn't it? Nice little back street cinema house on a rainy day. You know, I remember when I was a kid, you'd have dozens of these places. They were all over the place. You know, places called the Ritz, the Rialto, the Asoldo, all of them. You couldn't move without tripping over a cinema. And, of course, back in the day, they were very different to what they are today. They weren't all sanctified and, and sterilised and cleaned up. No, 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 no. You'd go in, there'd be, there'd be a little old lady, wouldn't there, in the booth, and she'd have the old horn-rimmed glasses on. You know, she'd have all of that bitterness and rage at her station in life, and it was all concentrated into that one tiny booth. You could feel the resentment coming off of her, couldn't you? And then be the manager. The manager, he'd be some geezer, he'd be hanging around, you'd know him, he'd be, he'd be fancy dressed, he'd have the dinner jacket on, wouldn't he? He'd have the bow tie, and he'd always have that, that little look, that little smirk, as if he knew what you were up to, or as if he was doing something behind your back. You never knew what they got up to, them sort of blokes. You never knew. And, and there'd be, there'd be the ice cream girl, wouldn't there? She was like a little erotic oasis in the middle of all that cinematic darkness. She'd be there with her, her frozen goods on her tray, wouldn't you? And, and you'd have the usherette. You'd have the usherette with her torch. And what was that about? They always had a bad leg, didn't they? Them usherettes back then in the 50s, they always had a bad leg. You know, and, and of course it'd be the atmosphere of the places, all sorts of stuff used to go on, didn't it? In the dark, in the dark and the smoke. You know, you'd have a you'd have a couple behind you, wouldn't you? They'd be having a good old time there. You'd perhaps have a bit of stabbing, you'd perhaps have a bit of seat slashing, but it was all part of the atmosphere. It was all part of the fun, you know? Yeah, I get nostalgic about them places. And I tell you, I was talking to my mate, my mate Kevin, the other day. You know Kevin, he's one of the O'Neill boys. And he was reminiscing as well about the cinemas, what he used to go into when he were a lad. And we were saying, you know, it's not really fair, is it? It's not fair that our generation should have had that bounty of blessings, that we should have experienced that nirvana of the early cinemas and their unpleasant atmosphere. It's not really fair that all you youngsters today, you can't know what that's like. So me and Kevin, out of the goodness of our hearts, what we decided was we'd recreate some of that that quality that places used to have back then. We'll, we'll, we'll perhaps create a, a cinema like what they used to have back then, what, what had the funny names. We'd perhaps call it Cinema Purgatorio. And like, you know, Kevin doing the pictures, because he, he does a few pictures, you know. I'll be doing a bit of writing. And we'd try and recreate that atmosphere so that all of you boys and girls out there, you can all come down to our cinema our cinema purgatorio and you can have an evening's entertainment like what we used to have back in the day so it'll be opening up in the neighborhood near you soon probably down a dingy little back street and I, I hope to see you there I'll see you down the pictures when I Oi, oi, do you mind? diabolical liberty. <laughs>